Hello everyone, this is the Super Wig Maker and today I am making a do-it-yourself hair drying pad, hot pad that will dry the hair. That's a 220 volt module, heating up module. It has 50 watts, 80 watts and 110 watts. And the difference in these three is that uh, they reach a specific temperature where they just stop. You don't need a sensor with that. This specific one, it's the 50 watt one. And as far as I can see here, it hits up to approximately 80 degrees Celsius. Now you can use any flat surface you want, which is going to be metal. For me, I just managed to get this specific thing. So I got a total of 12. Now the reason why I got a lot is because at some point I said, you know what, if you're gonna make a hitting pad, that better be a powerful one. So I have everything ready. This is going to be the downside with the numbers and everything is just, you know, broken here on this side. It's the inside and it's a little better. I'm going to take this and although I can see that it's uh, pretty much flat here, I'm going to take it to the next step and put some thermal paste. Now I'm going to place it down over here carefully. I'm going to use rivets. This is a rivet gun and I hope I got the right size. Maybe I should use this clump. to do. Alright. So I'm putting the rivets over here. The inside should look like that. And this side should look like this. I do have a little bit of paste overflow, which means that I put a little more than what I should, but it's okay because I can actually remove that. This should be removed. And on the other side, you should have a swollen back, which is keeping this very nicely. So I'm gonna put one over here as well. I'm gonna do everything like that outside of the camera because it's too much job to do. All right, so I placed everything. As you can see, it doesn't move. This is the inside and this is copper tape. The reason why I chose copper, although it's a little bit more expensive, is that this is going to be um, heat friendly as well, which means that it's, it's gonna be a heat conductor. It will conduct the heat better. I'm cutting a narrow strip. I just want to place this under these things so they won't really catch. They're meant to be close to the heating point so they wouldn't melt. But I just want to make sure that, you know, they're going to have a backing.
Alright, so now I'm just gonna place this on top, trying to align it with these grooves, as you can see. This is self-adhesive, it's not very stretched, but I'm gonna stretch it later. And I still need to pull these wires through the... like that. All right, so I just did it. <clears throat> you can't really see much now because I already, I took it down to my warehouse and I soldered it, the, the joints and stuff. And then I placed the, the wire over here and I made sure that I, I actually bought a bulk uh, wire and then I just got this module and I did it myself. So this is pretty long and that's a very good thing because a lot of times people make something and it has a very short cable and then you need to have uh, an extension cable and I hate that. And I just um, I just put this uh, thing over here, a little bit of a wire just to keep it. I'm gonna put a little bit of super glue just to make sure that it's not going anywhere. And I just put a little bit of tape just to make sure that everything is taped down. This is how the inside looks. I have a little bit of tape over here, which I don't really need. And the last thing I need to do because that's not a very professional one, is that I got another windshield, sorry, a, a heat shield for the car. And I plan to dress it over here and roll it on the other side. I'm not gonna show this on video because I need to be out of frame right now, but I'm gonna show you the final product and I hope you enjoy this and yeah, you will see the final result in a moment. All right, it's over and this is the inside. This is the other side, a little bit of tape over here, just to make sure that it doesn't rip over there as well. It's pretty good. And what I used around here to keep the foil from coming off is I used those clips, which do an amazing job. And I think that I might have to, look at those, am I? Yeah, let's put it here. Um, those little things, they, they are actually removable. Let me just remove one and show you. I need to remove those or anything. Come on. It became a little more expensive than, than what I expected it and what I wanted it to be. But it's okay and it, it does work. I already tested it. It gets really hot. But I put water in here, just a little bit, and after like half an hour, the water just was just evaporating slowly. It wasn't boiling, so that means that the, the temperature is much lower than 100 degrees. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. Thanks for watching and ask me anything you want.